right, heading to pick up the gang and then going up to the mountain, which is about an hour and a half drive from here, and that's where we're going to start hiking. Oh yeah, so that's where we're hiking up. Up there, to the top of that slay mountain, across the Sawtooth, and up onto Mount Evans. This is going to be insane. So there's Bright's that, it's the Sawtooth, Mount Evans. A little bit of a late start. I was hoping to get out here and it's still dark out, but grocery store stop stopped us a little bit. It's already a little nippy, we're not even at the snow yet. No, I was saying it's already a little nippy, we're not even at the snow yet. better view of the Sawtooth Traverse, which we'll have to scramble over to get to Mount Evans. Ooh, it's cold enough. Made it up into the snow. Totally breathing hard. Heart's racing. Miles to go. Yeah, snow's not a big deal. At 13,160. Gonna be the hardest, steepest part right here. Until we get to that sawtooth. And then it's a lot of scrambling. Yeah, me too. Whoa, jeez. Hey, bud. Are you with us? Are you hiking a 14 or two? Yeah, he said he camped out in the trees on the way up. Is that little peak right there? That's where the observatory is. Just walked over all of that sawtooth up and down, not just over the top. Oh, that view. Just gotta get over that one. set and that's Sawtooth Ridge that we just came over. Definitely starting to feel a little lightheaded. Bit of a headache coming on. Been in altitude for a while. It's alright, it's under control. Almost to the summit of Sawtooth Ridge, which is down there, and then on to Evans. And yeah. Lots of heavy breathing due to the fact that we're constantly going uphill and the lack of oxygen. Shoot, I don't know if you can see him, but there goes the Air Force doing their rounds. There he is. This is an extremely steep drop up here. I'm trying to sit down. <sighs> Made it to the top of the ridge. So that's beer step there, and we basically came across this entire thing, and it was like up and down and up and down. Pretty much 
Thomas is at the finder on route. It looks like just rocks, but it is like boulders when you're over there. So yeah, constant climbing. Probably the most epic mess I've ever taken. Oh yeah, and the car is all the way over there. I can't even see it on the screen, past that lake. Alright, maybe another hour or so, going up and over, over to Evans. And then all the way down. to the top of Evans. They don't really snapchat from there because it's freezing. <sighs> oh. So as always, my phone died due to the extreme cold, especially on Evans. So that's why there's not much from there or the way down at all. We took a different way down down this gully that was super steep um, and the gravel was just like falling out from underneath you so you have to be really careful. And like not only were we already exhausted from the hike, but the very last part, the last like hour, was walking through a swamp the entire time. It's so, like we were already wet and cold from the snow and rain that was coming in, and now you're walking through like muddy paths where your foot went like halfway into the mud and water. It's completely drenched, exhausted. But yeah, overall awesome hike. Not only did I do a 14er this year like I planned, I did two in one day, which is amazing.